Hey guys, I'm Joanne. This is the Desert Dog. And we're getting all cleaned up and ready to head out into the desert for some gold prospecting and some cooking. We got our Dutch ovens. We're gonna be cooking up some food for the whole crew. What's going on is that we're gonna be joining Jeff Williams. Now Jeff Williams, if you haven't seen him before, amazing gold prospector, geologist, does tons of videos about gold mining, gold prospecting, gold refining. A lot of fun to hang out with. So what you want to do, go look up jeffwilliams.com or I'm going to try to leave a link down below. Check that out. So what we're doing is we're getting everything all cleaned up and ready to go. We're going to get all our food, all our cooking equipment and everything ready to go. And then we're going to have you guys join us out in the Arizona desert for some gold prospecting and a little bit of gold mining. Hopefully we'll find some. Come join us. Good morning, Arizona. Let's find some gold. Yeah! Is it Good morning! Huh? Huh? Is it film Picture. or picture? It's video. Ah! Hold on, let me get my video face on. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, you ready to get some chow? Huh? Hi, guys. Uh. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah! All right, we're gonna go out and eat, boy. You gonna go have some chow with us? Are we having some chow, sweetie? That's right, well, let's get on out of here. Good morning. How are you all doing? We are here on with Jeff on a gold mining prospect. We have some folks that come in from out of town, out of state, probably from everywhere. But we're here to find a lot of gold to get rich so we can go back to Vegas and tell our bosses we quit. Three days, so let Mother Nature do the work for you. Stay in the very bottom of the Royals, where they come together like a V, because Mother Nature's washed everything down in there. So you're gonna you're gonna go through the washes. You're gonna look for exposures of caliche. You should know what caliche is by now. It's it's basically like hard pan. You're gonna check for that because gold will sit on top of that because it can't go below it. It's an artificial bedrock. So you're gonna stay in the very middle of these washes now. Where we're at right now, there's a split. And I'm gonna send the VLS up to the right, and I'm gonna send the, the PIs to the left. And you'll see where this splits off this way. Howdy! <laughs> well, we're, we are up here with Jeff and his, uh, some of his uh, team on Facebook, uh, doing some Dutch oven cooking for them on his outing. It's been a while since we've done any, any Dutch oven cooking, so it's a, it's a little rusty, but we're getting back into it. They say it's like a bicycle. Once you get on it again, you'll, you'll get the hang of it, and so far we are. Now, if you need power to charge stuff up, we do have a generator. Three nice, beautiful nuggets found this morning on Jeff Williams' claim here in Arizona. Yeah. Totally awesome. Good job, Sonny You Jim. bet. <laughs> nope, I'm planning. Not getting up. I'm not moving. Ooh, you got pork in there too, right? I see something in there. There's some. 1800s. Those are worth thousands. Yeah. Uh, like, it's uh, like... <laughs> $15,000, $35,000 pair. Really? A pair of what? Christine for condition too. Riches? Yeah. Levi's. Yeah. Original Levi's. Levi's. Oh, Original yeah. Levi's. Tore up ones from the yeah. 1800s go for a lot of money. Yeah. So could you imagine? <laughs> pristine <laughs> ones? The guy even says, boy, these miners were small. They were probably about Jeff's size, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Little guys. Well, uh, and you run up and down a lot of these addits and stuff, and, and it's like this yeah. the whole time. Bend down. You know? Yeah. 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 My, my brother took me to some some mines back when I was probably nine, ten, somewhere around Crown King. Oh, around, right. I don't know, 
but we just came across some some old mine shafts and addits and stuff and we just we kind of went in and looked but you know they had a slide in one of them and i was like i'm not going <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i'm not going i'm because it, Push the limit. it was like deep wow. down yeah well i got a website that i post pictures of all the all the mines i go to so it's right. got i've got a whole bunch I have to of get all your information yeah Good morning. These are the uh, biscuits for the coal miners breakfast that we're making for Jeff's uh, fans that have come out here for this weekend. Um, it's in a 14 inch uh, Dutch oven here lodge and I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off so we can see how they look. Ooh, look at them. Nice and golden brown. It won't be long. We'll be enjoying them on our plate and going down to our bellies. Morning everyone, <coughs> Kelly and I are making uh, coal miners breakfast for everyone out here today. We're going ahead and doing the biscuits. She's got the eggs done, got some sausage ready to go. We're making gravy right now. We're going to layer that, make a nice, uh, nice breakfast for everyone. Wish you were out here with us, having a great time. There's no reason to be shy. Don't be shy at all. Yep, you're right. Say, They're it, say it how it is. And... Oh, look how good at it. Yeah, these guys are like perfectly brown. Oh my. Okay, this is low cal, right? It is. Everything sugar free. It's <laughs> right. keto. Keto friendly. There keto. we go. <laughs> keto. Wow, that is good. I gotta have some. Good yeah. job, ladies. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> like the lost Dutchman. So he's been out here, Jeff, where is it? Where is it? I go, oh, I know this area inside now. Come with me. It's over here to the right. He's like, yeah, that's it. That's the spot. So he's been over there. I don't know what he's doing. I hope he found something. It started to work right. Because he said he had a nugget on the ground he was testing. He was that far from it, he couldn't see it. But then halfway through the day, he said that it was like it snapped and started working again. I go, you sure it was the detector, not you? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a weird looking one. The one on the left, right? Yeah. Oh, that's real pretty. He set it off on his detector, huh? Yeah, and then he couldn't find it. So that the pinpoint. Well, the pinpoint was like, I don't know, it was like going crazy. I don't know if it was So you can hear the rain. It's coming down. <laughs> it's coming down hard. <clears throat> Most everybody's kind of gone to the trucks, headed into town, did whatever they need to do to stay warm. I'm not quite that smart yet. I'm gonna be getting a little bit of tea going and I'll be getting inside and getting out of the rain as well. Gotta be tough if you're gonna be out here. Anyway, have a great time. Wish you were here. And then it turns to fog. Yeah, yeah. Huge. That, that is, is awesome. Huge. It's Good right. job. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me get a dime. Holy Actually, <laughs> I think I'm going to get a quarter. Yeah. That's what we were kind of wondering with that stuff. Right. Is, that, is there a potential for a free meal uh, to start showing up at deeper depths? Exactly. But when you hit water tables, all bets are off. It'll start, it'll convert back over to sulfide because there's no oxygen to oxidize. So a lot of mines, you'll see where they've gone down to the water table and they stop because the 50, 20 to 50 mesh screen right at the bottom of the, uh, the feed, exactly, from the jaw crusher. And then as I'm feeding in, the heavier stuff rolls over the top, it screens and the powder drops through and I pan that. It gives me a snapshot what's in the rock yeah, right that's, away. That's what I'm kind of after. And if, it, if there is, I'll take that rock and then I'll run it through the mill. Why run everything through that impact <laughs> yeah. mill if you don't have to? Yeah. So it gives you a good snapshot of what's inside this stuff without taking it all the way down. Now granted, you might miss some colors that are in this rock yeah. that might not be in the joints. 
So, but just keep that in mind. And most of, if you're working with quartz materials, most of your gold are going to form in the joints, especially if it's brett shaded. Brett shaded is where it's been broken and shattered, then re-cemented together. Most of the gold is going to be in that fine ground mass where it's been re-cemented, not in the big chunks that have been fractured, not that. Make sense? Got, got the gopher man. Right. Oh, I dig drift mines. It's nothing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbors used to call me the mole man. Because mole I, man! I was always digging. Alright, this thing is just. Oh, you never know. You're getting right in here, right? Yep. Alright, try it again. We just does this thing actually Uncle Joe's moving slow. What's the matter with you, Uncle Joe? I need a nugget to get my little lift of my step. Yeah, what's that you're running? SDC 2300. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good looking machine there. Yeah. Looks brand new too. Well, I, I got it used, but the guy claimed to only use it twice and there wasn't one scratch on it. Right. So I believe him. <laughs> and he only drove it to church on Sundays. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're headed up into there, sonny boy. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll start prospecting. So, Rod, I sure wish you were here to join us on this. It would be a whole lot more fun if you were here with us. Oh, yeah, my very first nugget. Woohoo! Very first ever. Sweet! Yeah, baby. Does it pick up on people or just metal? Just metal, I believe. Which metal there? Well, we've got the... Yeah, we got that there. And... That's why it says no trespassing. They could say that back in the day. But you'll find these all over the place. Tachi Oro. Now, um, AJA Mining owns half of them. They went in and they bought up half of them. They only are interested in the hard rock claims. So that's why they have everything from that ridge where the road is, where you can see the river and the lake, from there down. That's all they care about. They didn't care about any of this, which I don't understand. So I just sat there and watched, like I tell you, landmatters.org. Right. Keep an eye on that thing, especially around September when all the filing dates are due, remember? And then you just keep an eye on things, and then if things don't look right, if you don't see that number change over to the next year on their assessment fees, then you know, call BLM, ask them, hey, have they filed small minor waivers before? If it's a big company, they don't mess with the small minor waivers. If they don't, then you know that you've got a possibility. Then you get a hold of BLM, the, the office for that, that state, and then you say, uh, do you have any paperwork that's not been filed or what have you? I usually wait about two, maybe three months just to be safe. And that's what I did, and that's how I got all this. Drainage. Oh, what's it look, look at that nugget. The early birds get the got the biggest chunk of gold as of yet. Congratulations to them. Look at this gold. We're going to see some of the biggest gold you've ever seen. Take a look at that nugget right there. Congratulations. Look at that. Alright, name's going in. Let me stir them up. Look at that. Separate them There's your volunteer right there. Yeah. <laughs> what she got? I know what that pot produces. Yeah. Get them all separated. Things on our way. What do we? What do we? <laughs> <laughs> what do I get? What do I get? No. <laughs> My name is Leo. <laughs> but we did it uh, the There's first day. No, yeah. the first day we did it. They, yeah, I think they went down separate. the other side next to the mine. Oh no, I didn't know. 
That was pretty. It was up by the where the mines are, where the bridge yeah. is. Okay. All right, are we all ready? You all ready? We're going for third place. Yep, third place. Uh, nope, you gotta go up. All right, third place, third place. Drum roll, please. <laughs> one name, just one. I'm a trying. Just one. All right, I got one name. One name, what you got? Chambers. Me. Yay! All right, you got third place, which is what? Do you remember? Oh, uh, it's a bag of dirt. <laughs> From Arizona. No, 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 I forgot what it is, but it's something good, I think. <laughs> All right, we're going for second, second place. I can't remember nothing anymore. I think it's the book and a bag of dirt. You'll get like this, too. I am. Taz! Whoa! Hey! Yeah! I think that's now, good. Now, first place was what? A pen pointer and a bag of pay dirt. Second was what? A uh, Gear Super Sleuth secret, sign secret with a bag of pay dirt. And third was a signed book and a bag of pay dirt. Yeah, got it? Y'all go. got that? All right. Yeah. Yep. Hold on, let me check it out. All right, first place. Here we go. I'm not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go Boy. for all the beans in the wheel. Kelly! Woo! Girl! Hey! Hey! All right, congratulations, everybody, for playing our little game. All right, so you guys got any questions for me? Uh, I'm going to put you on tape. That's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Look at that. Oh. Give it to love. me. Give it to me. There you go. <laughs> Hi, so thank you for sticking around. We sure had a great time out in Arizona. Jeff's got some amazing patrons. It's so much fun to go spend some time with them, have a good time out in the desert. Everybody found gold. That's an amazing thing. It was a great trip. Everyone was smiling. Well, till the rain hit, then it got a little bit, a uh, little bit wet, but it didn't dampen any of the spirits. We got to do a bunch of cooking, got to make the uh, pot roast, got to do the uh, beans, cookies, coal miner breakfast. Really had a great time. It was too bad we got a little bit of rain, didn't get to do the pizza, didn't get to do the cobbler, but there will be more trips. So anyway, <clears throat> we've got other stuff coming. Going to be working on this trailer a little bit. Got some work to do on that to get it ready for the next adventures. Might also be doing a couple trips uh, on motorcycles across some of the most beautiful land Nevada has to offer. So looking forward to doing that probably in the fall. And thank you for joining us. Now this is our first video. Apologize if it was a little rough, but we sure had a great time with it. Anyway, if you like this kind of content and you think you'd like to uh, watch more of it, if you would, give it a thumbs up or give me some feedback. And then, if you would, subscribe and we'll just keep putting out some more content, having a good time. Going to be heading underground in the next couple weekends, so that ought to be quite an adventure. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining us. Oh.